All right, you guys, we have probably the most requested topic today. So I'm encouraging you right now to feel free to ask your questions in the comments. And Emily's on the camera and she will read them. Um, as long as it's pertaining to what we're talking about, we'll answer it. If it's, if it's a little bit off topic, we'll answer it in the comments below. But today we're talking about how to prep an entire meal plan. So this happened to me just yesterday, actually. Someone asked me, they said, I've been doing your program for a few weeks and I absolutely love it but I haven't started the nutrition part yet because I just don't know how. And so I'm assuming she meant she doesn't know how to prep the food, okay? So what we're gonna do today um, is we are going to walk through, uh-oh, <laughs> oh, there it is, good, because this is my husband's iPad and I don't know this code. Okay, anyway, um, I have Janae here. Hi, Janae, everybody say hi. Hello. Clean Monday meals on Instagram. Um, so we have my Fit Body Challenge, the 15 day challenge. We're gonna talk through um, moderate day two, okay? So if you don't have my challenge, the link is in the post above to go grab it. Um, moderate day two is just very basic, okay? I know you guys can't see this from over there, but Janae, why don't you talk about how to look at a meal plan and make the shopping list from that, okay? okay? So for me, um, with the shopping list, I. Well, yeah, I guess I look at what I'm making for the week. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I look at what I'm making for the week or I look at a meal plan and I write out, um, I actually always do a Costco list and I always do a Walmart. I know some people don't like Walmart, but they have pickup and it's amazing. Yes. So you should use it. <laughs> um, so I will write out and I write out by dairy, meat, vegetable, fruit, like fridge and then other like canned food or whatever. Where you'll find it in the store. Yeah, and so I do it by where I will find it so I don't forget anything. Because I feel like if I don't organize it, then I always forget something. Yeah, always. you never want to go back to the store. And like produce, I'll do produce and then when I'm at the store, I'll like cross it up. So I'll look at my list and I'll... So wait, do you do like a um, like an app list or do you pen and paper? I do pen and paper. I do too. I know, it's... Yeah. It's just, Easier. I know it is. Occasionally, I'll do it on my phone, but then I oh, I seriously always forget stuff if yeah. I don't. Just like write it out and cross mm -hmm. it off while I'm at the store. Yeah. So I think for me, that's always been the easiest. And then you can take the paper and like put it around the cart and yeah. hold it better, as opposed to hold your phone. That's always tricky. Anyway, come on. <laughs> so, um, yeah, basically, I'll look at what what I need, the amounts I need, and then I put it in order on a shopping list. And so, how do you manage? Like, okay. Like, let's say this person was going to do moderate day two, and they were going to prep it for four days. Kind of talk them through that, you know? Like how much to buy? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I know it might seem obvious to us, but, like, for example, so in this, this one here, we've got our pre-workout meal is a scoop of idealine protein, one cup of almond milk, and two cheddar rice cakes. So... We're going to break this down super plain and simple for you guys today, okay? So basically you're going to think if they're going to follow this for the whole week, maybe maybe they're just going to prep the main food for four or five days, but if they want to follow this plan for the week, they're going to need 14 rice cakes, okay, which is actually a whole package. Easy. So they just make sure you get the whole package. Don't just buy one rice cake. That's actually not possible. <laughs> so it's broke. Get it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so just make sure that you think about, okay, 85 grams of chicken, this calls for, which is three ounces. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure you multiply that. Okay, you're gonna need, and it, it does get a little tricky because this is in cooked, I do my meats in cooked weights for the challenges. And so you're gonna want, you know, your three ounces of chicken times seven days, so 21 ounces of chicken. That's about a pound, a little under a pound and a half. So you're gonna to wanna to round up and make sure you get two pounds. And you don't, if you don't know, just Google it. Google yeah. knows everything. Google does know Seriously. everything. You're like, how much? raw chicken but really just you're just going to want to buy a big bag of raw chicken okay like from costco or something like the big 10 or the 10 pound, pound yeah bag. and i always like overbuy because you can always use chicken yeah instead of like trying to exactly measure it out like mm -hmm. overbuy a little bit it's fine because you will be able to use it the next week or whatever at least you know you have enough and even overcook like if you're not mm -hmm. sure how many chicken breasts to put in the crock pot, overcooked. just throw it in there because you can take like all these see these shredded meats we have here we've got a bunch of shredded meats Whenever I'll portion it out, and if I have extra, I just put it in a big Ziploc storage bag and put it in the freezer, and I'll just write, you know, like eight ounces of buffalo chicken or whatever it is on there, right? So, do we have any questions on how to make a shopping list from your meal plan? 
Um, going once, going twice. Okay. All right. So this is what I do first. Janae's going to chime in if she does something a little bit different. But the first thing I do, and I don't know why, maybe it's just what I'm used to. I think about the meats first, okay? So for this one, let me kind of just walk you through this meal plan. We've got um, a pre-workout. You've got your ideal lean protein shake, okay, with some rice cakes for pre-workout. Post-workout is a raspberry cheesecake shake. So the recipe, it's got some graham crackers, some cream cheese, raspberries, and then your protein powder, okay? And then your lunch is going to be buffalo chicken, brown rice, and avocado, okay? Your snack is a hard-boiled egg and an apple, and then your dinner is some steak and some veggies and then like a homemade salt and vinegar dressing. And then your, your treat at night is a little fudge thing with protein powder, peanut butter, and some flavorings, okay? Um, actually, no, I don't think about meat first. What I think about first is what I'm gonna prep in advance. So what would you prep in advance here? Um, I would I prep hard-boiled eggs, uh -huh. the meat, the rice, <clears throat> the steak, and the veggies. Yeah, that's exactly right. And then I would I also you. probably do um, the maple fudge. Yeah. Right? Yeah, like, you could like do the that. Bar. Yeah, well, yeah, and you can keep it in the freezer. Yeah. So, so yeah, so that's so what you're going to Almost I would prep everything in advance, and even, like, for the protein shake or also, like, the raspberry shake, I would even sometimes, if I'm like crunched on time, I separate it into like little baggies, so it's just easy. Like I don't have to think. Oh, I need to like grab the protein, make a like shake. It's like just ready by like um, for the raspberry with yeah, the recipe. Perfect. You could even have like the ounce, uh, the graham crackers, like each thing, the frozen strawberries, like in little pouches, mm -hmm. so you can just throw it together. Right. So for this one to make it fast, you've got cream cheese, raspberries. Which you could put that in the same baggie. And then your protein powder, heck, you can put it all in the same yeah, bag. You can just throw it in the blender. So um, if you're low yeah. on time, I would for sure prep even that in advance. Yes, totally. Um, you don't have to, though. No. Because that doesn't doesn't take long, but it is kind of mentally you can think, okay, I don't even have to do, I don't even have to portion that out. It's already all done for me. So what I would do, I would prep the same things in advance. I usually just start with meats, okay? So my buffalo chicken here. Um, again, you guys can get all these recipes for free in my 15-day challenge. So if you're like, what's that recipe? Um, I'm not going to write it all out for you. I'm just going to get my challenge. Okay. Um, the buffalo chicken is a crock pot recipe. So I would first get out my crock pot and start that recipe. Okay. Then I would look at my next meat and it's sirloin. And however you want to, if you want to grill it, if you want to like slice it and saute it. I can't actually remember. I think it's just up to you how you want to do it. Um, you can make that all in advance too. So what would you do next after you got your meats going? So once my meats were going, I always start with the veggies next because if I have to chop them, cut them, while that stuff's cooking, I'm chopping up my vegetables um, and doing my hard boiled eggs. Mm -hmm. So I'm doing the things while the other stuff is cooking so I'm getting more done at once. Yeah, and you can start your brown rice too with your yeah, meat. Yeah, brown rice, hard boiled eggs, and then start cutting your vegetables because by the time the meat's done, you can be able to put everything into your containers at once. Yes, totally. So really like that buffalo chicken, that, that one will take all day. You can start that one in the morning and then get on the rest of this in the afternoon or whenever you have time. But your steak won't take long, your hard boiled eggs won't take long. Um, everything else is pretty fast. If you wanna make that, that maple nut fudge, your meal six in advance, you could really do all of that. Like you're over here doing one thing, then you go, you stir up your steak. I'm losing my voice. <laughs> this is my sexy voice today. Sexy yeah. Voice. <laughs> yes. Um, so really, you guys, that is kind of the basics. So what you're going to do is when you're doing all this, you have to think, and I'll usually have like a, a notepad where I'm writing notes, like, I don't know, just random things. Like, okay, 70 grams of top sirloin times five days, 350 grams. But you you know, you have to add, so wait, uh, meat cooks down. So if you need 150 grams or whatever it is, cooked you're gonna want more of that in raw and yet you can google it i've kind of figured it out for myself most meats on average at how i cook them it's going to be a little different for everyone we'll cook about four ounces to three ounces so 115 grams they lose about an ounce per serving i talk to people where it's different for them so it really depends on like what kind of things you're cooking with how dry you cook it like all sorts of stuff and I've had people say, like, hey, I don't know grams, so can you not yeah. put your recipes in grams? Yeah. And my easiest response is just Google it, because honestly, mm -hmm. that's what I do. 
Like yeah. even if I don't know the grams of something and that that's what my res that recipe is and that's what I follow, mm -hmm. I just Google it, figure it out. It's yeah. like I'm not as smart as her, obviously, <laughs> so I can't just like no. figure it out on my own. I just always I but, do grams because it's more exact for my challenges and I make right. my challengers weigh everything. But not everyone weighs everything, not everyone has to. But if you're like, what is that in cups or something, yeah, you just Google it. Or ounces or whatever. So we have any questions on that? I know it sounds overwhelming, but that's kind of, if you need to watch this video multiple times, that basically kind of walks you through it. Let me give you a step-by-step, -step, okay? You look at your meal plan, okay? You make your shopping list, go shopping. You've got all your foods here. You're gonna start with your meats, because they'll usually take the longest. Okay, so you're gonna start your crock pot first, then you're gonna start your rice cooker, then you're gonna start the rest of your meats. While that's all going, because it kind of goes on its own, you're gonna cut up your veggies, okay? Um, your hard boiled eggs, everything is, a lot of this stuff is so easy, just grab and go. Once everything's done, you're gonna get your food scale or your measuring cups, your containers. You're just gonna start portioning it all out and pretty soon you're gonna have like this gorgeous fridge just with like, isn't that the prettiest? Oh, it's so awesome. Yeah, it I makes you feel it. so accomplished And you're too. just so ready for the week. Yeah, <laughs> so ready, you can handle anything. Um, so that is really, that's it, you guys. Are there, Emily, are there any questions coming up or anything? No. Okay. Not yet. So really, you guys, I know this is so overwhelming. Do you have any, like, final parting tips? I don't know. We kind of said it all, huh? Yeah. Yeah. I like. So I feel like it sounds overwhelming, but you just have to do it. Because I've tried to break it down into, like, the smallest steps possible for people. But it's just going to keep sounding overwhelming until you just try there's so many people I've helped too, and like in the beginning when I've given them like a meal plan or recipes to follow, they're they're just like, I don't think I can do it. Like it just seems like so much work. But if we're like breaking it down for like the easy, like this is the step by step. You do this first, this next, and I I've, I've had people come to me and be like, you're right. I started it and it's not that hard. Mm -hmm. It just seems a lot more overwhelming than it actually is. Yeah. Once I started it and I did it, it's like. Wow, that like I can do this. Yeah, and you need to do a lot of couple hours. It's not going to take thirty minutes. Yeah, it's to prep it's for a whole week. Time consuming. Yeah, for sure it is. But and then you don't have to do it again. Also, once you do it, you'll get faster and faster, mm -hmm. and you'll figure out like how to save time in areas. Like that's kind of why we taught you. We figured out meat and then cooking the veggies and yeah. those things to save time. And you may find things that work for you in your kitchen and your appliances and setup that makes it faster for you than our tips. This is just kind of what we do. Um, I had one more thought, I'm trying to remember what it was. I can't remember. Anyway, ask any questions below, you guys. We're happy to help. Oh no, I know what I was gonna say. Um, it is very overwhelming if you're trying to think about like, I'm gonna follow this meal plan on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and this one on Tuesday, Thursday, and this one on Saturday. Then when you're prepping for the week, you're prepping so many different things, and it's totally doable. You definitely can do that, but it is way harder. So I would encourage you if you're just starting out on this whole meal prep thing to choose a meal plan and prep it for the week or for five days or something like that, and just do the same meals every day. It's not as bad as it sounds. I eat the same things every day for the most part. Um, yes, it's boring, but it is simple and it's easy and it's easy to like wrap your head around and kind of get used to the habits that way. And then if you want to mix it up later, you totally can. You can prep two lunches and alternate between them and two, you know, but I would start with the basics first. Would you agree? Totally. Yeah. So that's what we got for you guys today. We have one more of these. Our last class is next Thursday and we're going to be talking about on the go foods, things that are great to grab and go. Um, just different tips for that, okay? So we've got Clean Monday Meals, and you're me, Trainer Lindsay, and we will see you guys next time.